this call is now being recorded. Okay, so um, good morning, everyone. Last meeting, I have given you the ready materials about the organizational structure of a hotel. In there, you have read the different departments in a hotel. And now, we are going to discuss again, or mo flashback lang ta ato nga discussions, kay matakol man na to gihapon dili ang kato nga mga department. But we will focus in here sa kanang mga sub-department of the hotel. Okay. So for today's lesson, our learning outcome is to know the different departments that play the hotel, to know the rules and responsibilities in hotel operations. So the first department is the front office department. So here it happens, our first contact of the guest to the front office staff. Okay, so here it happens among verification processes, confirmation of booking, and then reservation. Okay, so the first sub-department of front, of front office is the reservations. So here, um, book room in advance. Booking of rooms can happen through a central reservation system or the property management system. Um, here, assessing guests to choose uh, the best suitable room for them. And then upselling of room happen. If guests are booking deluxe room, then you have to convince them to book suite room. So mo na siya uh, mga uh, processes in the reservation. And then also uh, process properly document store and retrieve booking or reservation information for guest arrival and smooth, smooth check-in. So uh, responsible uh, for handling room reservation, pre-arrival arrangement of guest stay. Another sub-department is the reception. So here, uh, the welcoming of the guest will happen. So complete registration and ask necessary documents to complete the check-in procedures like mga confirmation number or kanang mga airline ticket or kana so mo na siya kailangan during the arrival or during sa check-in procedure and then here also um a checking of billing information and arrangement of payment will happen and then assigning of room and then room keys will happen also Okay, so another department is the telephone exchange. So here, it handles telephone and telecom system. It could be internal or external calls. So external calls, calls which will be kananggikan sa kanang mga like naalay kaila ang guest tapos ni atawag ka ng hotel eh kay bawban sila nga na siya nag-stay diha. So, i-connect lang na nila ang call sa taga front office department or front office staff. Another uh, sub-department is the guest relation desk. So, here, uh, guest relation executive ensures comfort and convenience of guests. Um, take care of VIP arrivals and amenities and then maintain guest history cards manually or electric electronically so here um it is very important to maintain guest history cards it's because you will identify kanang mga guest nga nagbalik-balik and through that since naa na siya history mo dig na lang ka sa iyang information and then you will able to know kung unsa iyang mga likes mga dislikes kung asa siya nga room nga gusto okay so Mona siya um, responsibility sa guest relation this department. Okay? So, another one is the front office cashier. So, uh, maintains guest accounting during their stay. And then, monitor credit limit of guests. Prepare and settle bills by cash. It could be credit or debit card. And then, only guests can check out. So, here... Uh, it maintains a cash bank for small expenditures. So basically, more on monetary responsibility, ang kaninga department. And then, front 
or the concierge. Okay, so concierge provide information to guests about the city, um, its place of tourist interest, sightseeing, and other. It also plan tour and make a schedule. Kaya ng mga itinerary, especially if a certain hotel nag-offer na siya o mga different activities nga kanang like whale watching, mga dolphin watching, or kanang mga other activity nga kanang mga city tour. So it is the concierge will be responsible for this one. Okay, so he or she will create an itinerary for the guest. Or even kanang transportation, okay? So book taxi for local sightseeing or excursion, and book ticket for flight and others a transport transportation of there were no travel desk in the hotel. They can also assess guest luggage and bag if the hotel does not have a bell desk section. And lastly, bell desk. So small, smooth movement of guest luggage and baggages on arrival and de departure. So fill Iran, uh, Iran cards. So from time to time, they have a card to be filled in in order for monitoring. Kind of example of na ay mga lapses or na ay mga questions ang um, guests regarding sa ilahang mga butang. So their cards will be your proof nga wala kay wala gibuhat wala yung something nga nahitabo sa ilahang mga luggages and then on arrival of guest after allotment of room number put a tag on guest luggage the builders also will distribute newspaper and maintain the first aid kit so he he or she is responsible for luggage handling of the guest it consists of group uniform staff for guest services and lastly would be the transportation section. So it handles the transportation facility of the hotel guest. It assists in the booking of air tickets, um, hiring of car and other transportation facilities. So it also arranges and organizes city tours, sightseeing tours to the guests. And then business center. So business center serve the guests with laptops, internets, mobile, Facsimile, kind of mga LCD projectors, and put photocopier and other on request secretarial facilities. Uh, mostly, those business traveler or those people nga attending conventions or meetings um, will require these facilities. And then, this is the last addition in the large and medium sized hotel in line with the electronic era. So, those facilities mentioned are mostly available lang na siya sa mga large hotel. Nga kadtong mga nag-host or naasilay ka ng area in which um, a certain meetings or a certain convention can be, can, can be located or kadang mo-host sila ang nga certain nga event. Okay, so these are the examples of the sub-departments in front office. So the reception area, the telephone exchange, the business center, and then the transportation services. So another department is the housekeeping department. So uh, this is responsible for the kind of cleaning of rooms, maintaining the cleanliness and the, and the safety, the hygiene of the rooms not just the rooms but also the public areas okay so the first is the office of the executive housekeeper so it is where the administrative work of the department is performed it must be an independent room to provide the housekeeper with silence to plan out her work and hold her meetings okay and then housekeeping control desk so the control desk of the housekeeping is manned 24 hours a day. This is the area where the housekeeping staff report for duty and signed out at the end of the shift. Main communication center of housekeeping. So mo siya amin na main communication nila. And then all information is sent out and received concerning the department. Usually has a desk with a telephone, not computer, 
all our notice board for the staff schedule and day-to-day -day instructions. Okay? And the next one is the laundry area. So it is a place in a hotel where washing, pressing, dry cleaning, folding of linen, and uniform of the hotel takes place. Linen room. So it is where the linen of the hotel are stored, collected, and circulated throughout the hotel. Usually, has a counter across with the exchange of linen takes place. The room should be next to the laundry so that the supply of linen to and from laundry is quick and smooth. Okay, another one is the uniform room place. So it is a place where uniforms are collected, stored and distributed to the staff of the hotel. The stocks are only touched when the current uniforms and linens in circulations falls short due to damage or loss. And then tailor room. So this sub department also called sewing room. So where stitching and repair of linen and uniform takes place. And then flower room. So from the name itself, ideally should be an air conditioned room to keep flowers fresh for arrangement in the hotel. Um, arrangement could be happen in the room or in the public area. Okay, and then lost and found. So it is an area where all articles or things left by the guest is stored for a specific period of time. If the guest mangita sila sa ila abutangan na habilin sa room, then front desk in charge will, will, will call the housekeeping department and verify the thing nagipangita sa guest and then ihatag po, ihatag po dayo na sa housekeeping department in return of kanang mga uh, very, uh, validations and then in return of kanang mga signatures or mga sila of proof from the guest. Okay, so paparmahon, pwede nila paparmahon ang guest na na-receive na nila nga butang. Okay, and then floor pantry. So floor pantry, it is located on each guest floor to stock the linen, cleaning supplies, and guest supplies requirement for operation of the floor and should be securely locked. It should be near the service elevators and have shelves to stock all linens and other supplies. So in large hotel, especially ng mga tag-as na kayo ng hotel, each level na ano siya ay floor pantry. So it is where kana mga necessary um, supplies, cleaning supplies stock para dili na bitaw mag naog naog pa ang housekeeper nga moadto pa siya sa ilahagid nga department in which nga layo gid na siya, di ba? Especially if naa sa 10th floor. So mo gina siyang gi-design na siyang floor pantry in order for the housekeeper nga accessible lang siya and then Every day, I fill out na siya, okay? Kaya every day, ma'am po mag-clean, every day, ma'am po mag-change ang linen sa room. So, every day, it could be, it will be fill out. And then lastly, heavy equipment storage. So, this will be a room to store bulky items such as vacuum cleaners, shampoo machines, and others. Okay, so these are the examples of the kanang housekeeping department, sub-department. So there you have seen the laundry area, the linen, okay, so the pantry, floor pantry, and then the executive nga kanang office. Next one is the food and beverage department. So basically food and beverage department serves uh, meals to the guest, okay, not just food but also drinks. So when we say food and beverage department, it has two kind of category. It is the front of the house, which is consists of bars, dining area, show kitchen, and lunch. So when we say bar, it is where all kinds of alcohol is located. Okay, and then dining area. Okay, so it is a room in which meals are eaten, and then. Especially the room in which the major or more formal meals are eaten. So, so it could be a restaurant. So it is where kanang a place where guests muka on sila. Okay? And then show kitchen. So show kitchen 
is also termed as theater kitchen. So the hygiene, sanitation, and decor of the kitchen, as well as the skill and showmanship of the staff. In particular, mainly determine the sale of the such kitchen. Okay, so very, very common in the show kitchen. Okay, so a certain guest would choose uh, unsa yang gusto nga menu, and then uh, ang chef mo perform ana in front of the guest. So the guest will know kung giyon sa pag luto ang kana nga meal or kana nga menu nga ayahang gusto. So muna siya show kitchen. Okay, very particular ni siya. Okay, so one of the way pud ni siya nga kanang ma-attract ang customer to dine in or to stay in your hotel. Okay, so, lunch. So, it is a public area located near the reception where food and beverage are served to the guests. Okay, so aside from the dining area, na po specific area na ka ng overview bitaw siya, overview siya sa hotel. So, maunin siya nga area. So, it could also be used as the ka ng pwede sila pag mga on or pwede po i-enjoy ang beverage ng ilang order Okay, so another one is back of the house. So it is where cellar, stewarding area, storage area, or staff lock, locker is located. So when we say cellar, it is a room below ground level in a hotel. Typically one used for storing wine. Okay, so it is where a uh, uh, wine is being stored. Okay, so stewarding area. So a hotel steward, also known as matri ma day, is a person commonly in charge of all dining operation for a restaurant or public dining uh, room. So it serves food and beverage in guest room. So it is responsible for organizing all types of function and catering. So stewarding area, so, naata ng diha na hitabo. Okay? So, uh, he or she is in charge of the dining operations. Tanan-tanan. And then, also, siya po ang ma-verify if na ay mga room service na food and then mga beverages na to order. And then, storage area. So, storage area can be, can be classified into the kanang dry ingredients, frozen ingredients, or refrigerated lang. Okay? So, storage area is divided into three, as mentioned na ako kaganiha. So, it is where um, certain ingredients is being stored. So, nakakategorize po na siya based on their condition. So, staff locker. So, it is where the important things or mga things sa employee being being stored and being locked. Okay? So, each employee has their own uh, password or has their own unique key to protect their important things. Okay? Kaya di man nila pwede daladala ko ng ilang mga butang while doing their task or job. So, a specific area is being given to them to store their important thing. So this is an example, some example of the department or sub-department in the food and beverage. Okay, so not, now let's proceed to the kitchen. So here, kitchen department, mainly they, they are the one who cook the menu in the food and in the in the food and beverage department. So back of the house. Okay, so main kitchen, uh, the large kitchen area where food is prepared for different restaurant or F&B services outlets. So the food here is prepared for kanang mga coffee shop, mga room service, and snack for bar. Okay, so the main kitchen has further subsections like um, they are categorized into Indian kitchen, continental kitchen, South Asian kitchen, and other. Okay? Kay um, lahi-lahi man ang, ang ato ang guest. So, also, we have to, the hotel also has to adapt those uh, preferences of the guest. So, chef area. When we say uh, chef area, it is the executive chef's 
seats here, okay? And a lot of planning takes place inside this area, okay? So another sub-department is the pantry. So pantry, it is a room where beverages, uh, mga food and sometimes dishes, uh, mga household cleaning are stored, okay? So basically, diha lang masudlay ka ng mga... Um, Okay, so mo na siya. So diha ni ma stored ang mga kato akong dimensions kaniya. And then walk-ins here, depending upon the size of the hotel, there is a minimum of two third walk-in refrigerator. One is kept specially at 18 degree to store the meat. So mga large ni siya nga mga um, equipments to store kanang mga 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 ingredients in a in a in a kitchen. So magdepende po na siya sa size sa hotel, okay? For those large size of hotel and then of course daghan sila nga daghan sila gi-accommodate na number of guests and then they also required a large walk-ins. Okay? So butchery. So here a section where all raw meat supplies such as chicken, mutton, fish, prawns, lobsters, and others are received and cleaned. So properly wrapped for further storage. Okay. And then banquet kitchen. So bulk cooking for function happens at this section. So it is where kanabitong mga banquet is um, would cater man siya, uh, daghan ka ayong nga tao. So, the process of, 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 kanang trabaho diri is pas pas. And then, naana siya is certain na chef nga, mut, basically, mo check lang gid na siya sa kanang mga menu nga giluto. And then, if pasar na siya, and then, mo na siya, ihatag na siya dito sa guest, is serve na siya sa dito sa guest. Okay? And then, Card manager. So here, it is also known as salad house. Factory outlet for uh, salads preparation in bulk. So here, cold salads are prepared for banquet parties and coffee shop buffet. Okay, so commissary. So place or section where we store all the green vegetables in bulk. Bakery and confectionery. So, all bakery items like cakes, pastries, mga chocolates, mga muffins are made in this section. So, these are some examples. So, here, kanin na ay interesting, mo siya ang butchery, and then mo siya ang storage, saka itong mga ingredients, and then mo siya ang main kitchen, and then for banquet kitchen. Okay, so another department is the engineering department. So, injury, uh, sub departments of the injury, engineering department would depend lang na siya sa hotel. But mostly, nag usa lang gid ni ang engineering department. Okay, so siya lang gid na, wala na siya sub department. So, duties and responsibility. Okay, so they are res this department is responsible for the main maintenance and the operation of all machinery and equipment, including heating, um, air, con air conditioning, and lighting. So also responsible for carrying out of all can carpentry, upholstery, and small building, uh, plumbing, and other works both inside and outside of the hotel. So when we say property operation, it includes running the utilities, okay, so mga HVAC. So, mo ito kong giingon ganiha. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So, so this is carried out by a, a dedicated set of personal working in chef, shifts, shifts to cover 24 hours of the day as per a predetermined time schedule. So, operation will also include minor troubleshooting and technical support required for guest room snacks and banquet setup. 
Okay, when we say planned preventive maintenance or PPM, this is one of the most important functions of engineering and often cited as the most critical from long time building asset maintenance point of view. So the philosophy is to regularly carry out a set of preventive actions for every machine in the building rather than allow it to run to failure and then tackle expensive breakdown maintenance costs. Okay, so a PPM schedule is drawn at the beginning of the year and a team of dedicated persons execute it accordingly. In some cases, like elevators and kitchen equipments, temporary downtime may be required, which is planned in coordination with the after with the affected user department. And lastly, fire and life safety. So engineering is also responsible to ensure a safe building for its inhabitants. This includes 100% uptime of all the fire pumps serving the sprinklers and the hydrides around the building. So the fire alarm system consisting of smoke detectors, manual call points and alarm bells, emergency lights, emergency backup power like gensets, inverters, UPS, public address system, CCTV, cameras, fire doors, bollards, and boom barriers, and others. So they work hand-in-hand -hand with security personnel in carrying out evacuation drills and safety checks of the premises. Okay, so another department is the human resource department. So the function area in a hotel with the responsibility to assist managers in other departments with human resources concerning including uh, uh, recruitment, selection, orientation, training, uh, compensation, um, legal, uh, safety and health, and other special tasks. So recruitment department. So it is where the activities designed to attract qualified applicants for the hotel's vacant manage, management and non-management positions. So they are responsible for hiring or uh, posting mga uh, hiring uh, mga posters. Okay. And then next is the selecting department. So once na ana sila na recruit or na ana sila yung mga, mga applicants, it's time for the selection department to do an action. So the process of evaluating job applicants to determine those most qualified for and likely to be successful in vacant positions. So after selecting, orientation department will take place. So here, the process of providing basic information about the hotel, which must be known by all of its employees. So orientation will happen, um, basic information of the hotel, and mostly some of the hotel will uh, conduct tour, okay? Conduct um, tour on the hotel so that a certain employee or new employee uh, will have her or his kind of information or background good about the hotel. And lastly, training departments. So training new and experienced workers alike need training, including uh, mga initial training, uh, professional development, or training to keep up with new and revised procedures. So di lang ang mga new, newly hired uh, employee ang kailangan ani nga training. Okay, so human resource department is responsible for training those employees nga dugay na just to to kanang keep up kung unsa ang mga procedures like man, procedures mandated in the example kanang DOT di ba okay and then another department is the marketing and sales department okay so a sales and marketing manager in the hotel industry is responsible for maximizing a hotel's revenues by developing programmers to increase occupancy and make profitable use of its accommodation meeting and leisure facilities so the manager must maintain awareness of the factors nga unsay maka-influence sa hotel industry and then gain a deep understanding of the needs and attitudes of the hotel's customers. So they are responsible for um, studying the behavior of the customer and then whilst um, after studying them, they will produce mga advertisement or mga marketing strategy in order to attract the, them. 
Okay, so this department will appoint managers in every area in the hotel. So for example, uh, in the sales, in the in the event and back banquet department, or mo, mo select sila o manager ana ang department so that um, kana nga selection or kana nga manager nga ilang select siya na ang mukandak o mga sales or mga marketing uh -oh, para ma-attract ang customer or the travel and trade manager. Okay? okay. Finance department. So, finance department essential role is the money out which means making payments and keeping the bill, the, the bills paid money in processing incoming payments payroll make sure everyone gets paid so um payroll making um mga payroll sa mga employees and then reporting preparing financial reports so mga balance sheets mga budgets okay so financial controls to avoid errors fraud and thief so financial de department is responsible for monitoring the cash in cash out or kanang mga basically pagsuod ug paggawas sa mga porta sa hotel okay so chief finance officer so typically the head financial ex executive of large businesses they oversee the financial strategy health of the business and manage the rest of the financial department cfos are very forward thinking and will help businesses navigate through growth stages and, and downturns with their knowledge of company finances they help senior management understand the financial impact of real-time decisions to ensure the fiscal success of the business so uh, basically their duty is to conduct financial planning uh, reporting uh, controls short and long-term business strategies um, investment um, hedging mergers and acquisition mga cash management um, internal risk management corporate corporate finance auditing and accounting so muna ilang mga responsibility so financial controller so financial controllers are key players within the accounting departments and work alongside CFOs, COOs, and financial directors. So their functions and responsibilities include uh, financial accounting, preparation and reporting, analysis, budgeting, um, project management, and more. So their key role tends to focus on immediate financial issues and management. Treasury manager. So the treasury manager role in the accounting department revolves around the formulation and development of treasury policies. This includes identifying the best investment opportunities, developing a great bank relation, optimizing credit facilities, and minimizing finance costs. Okay. So accounting manager. So an accounting manager is responsible for a company's accounting activities that include maintaining and reporting on both the cost and financial sets of account, but does not handle or negotiate. Okay. So the accounting manager establishes and enforces the accounting principles based on statutory requirement and auditing policy. And then chief accounting so it holds the same responsibility as the accounting manager but the role simply differs in terms of the job title accounting supervisor shares the same responsibility as an accounting manager and provides support as a member of his or her team accountant so accountant play a key role in finance departments such as the measurement and interpretation of financial information the result of their work ensures compliance and provide the groundwork for greater financial strategies. And lastly, bookkeepers. So bookkeepers provide the day-to-day -day effort needed to record and assess basic accounting data. They typically do not take a strategic role. So, so as a whole, finance department um, conduct the mga analysis, okay, mga planning, and then mga risk management in how to um, kanang produce revenue or profit in a hotel. Okay, so 
Another department, the last department, is the loss prevention and security. So security department, um, literally to protect the guests and staff of the hotel, including all their property. Secondarily, the security department role in a hotel is to secure the actual premises and the property of the hotel itself. Their job is to prevent uh, security and safety issues before they before it happened. Okay, and when an issue does arise, to take appropriate measures to ensure guest safety. So the security department often referred to as loss prevention can range from one security guard to a team of with many specified duties. Each hotel has its own security protocol based upon the type of property it is and the type of guests they have visiting. Their job is to prevent security and safety issues before it happen. Okay, so just like what I have mentioned earlier. So the member of the security department will patrol the lobby, public space, guest room floors, and monitor hotel security cameras. When the hotel is hosting a large banquet event, there, there will typically be increased security staff to ensure the safety of the attendees. The security department, they also house the lost and found section where items left in guest rooms or found elsewhere in the hotel are kept for the return to their owners. The day-to-day -day of a security officer can range from dealing with small guest annoyances to dealing with urgent hotel-wide emergencies. In recent years, many hotel security departments have become trained in terrorism awareness and action plans in the event of the threat. Okay, common, magod ka na, Sharon. Okay, mama ginay mostly target since labi na ang naay mga events or naay mga conventions nga mahitabo or conventions nga i-host sa usa ka hotel. Okay? So as the security of hotel is a 24-hour operation, the job includes shift work during nights and weekends. It is important that at the end of each shift, an incident report is passed along to those working the next shift so they are fully abreast of any hotel issues. So that would be the last department. Okay, so um, loss prevention and security are the only department. So magdepende lang na siya sa hotel if na ay sub-department ka i-add anin nga, nga department. Okay, so any question? So if you have any question, you can message me directly to my messenger for any clarification. So this will be the last topic that we are going to discuss before um, we are going to have a midterm exam. So midterm exam will happen next week. Tentative schedule, mo na siya gihatag sa amo. And then, wala pa specific date and time na giingon, but midterm will happen next week. So I will just inform you sa itong specific date and time, and then the time of type of exam that we are going to conduct. Kung sa ako i-conduct ninyo sa midterm, okay? So that would be all. Okay, so we will not meet on Wednesday. I will allocate that time for you to study. So study, study, read and read. And then you have to do your part also as a student. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you, everyone. And then God bless and keep safe.